Hi folks, uh, Secret Squirrel here, and this is ge uh, geometric probability, so let's begin. Uh, so definition of probability, remember probability is number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. So uh, also probability is between 0 and 1. It could be 0, it could be 1, but it's a fraction usually between 0 and 1. I've noticed um, uh, some textbooks are changing your fractions to decimal, so it's top number divided by bottom number, but if you're taking like the SAT, it is, it is a fraction answer. And I think also any kind of star test, I think it's a fraction answer also. But if you see decimals, just take top number divided by bottom number. Okay, so uh, here's a quick example. A bag contains uh, two white marbles, three blue marbles, five red, and two yellow marbles. Uh, if one marble is selected at random, find the probability of each, and it should be of each event. Okay, so here's a bunch. It's red, it's white, it's purple, it's not purple, it's blue or red, or it's not white. Let's do this first one. It's red. Okay, first of all, uh, the bottom number is your total number of outcomes. So I have to count them all up. So 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 5 more is 10, plus these two yellows here makes it 12. So the bottom number is going to be 12. The top number is your favorable. So I'm looking for reds on number 1. So 5 is the top number and 12 is your bottom number, 5 twelfths. Okay, it's white. Okay, there's two whites out of 12 marbles. And then, of course, reduce that to uh, 1 sixth. Uh, okay, always reduce it. It's purple. Well, this is where it's going to be 0 because uh, there's no purples in there, you guys. So 0 twelfths, which is 0. It's not purple. Well, I can pull any marble I pull out of there is not going to be purple. So that would be 12 of 12, which is 1. Okay, it's blue or red. Okay, well, you got to count up how many blues are in there. Three, and there's five red. So there's eight total of blue or red. And then four goes into eight, and four goes into 12, two and three times. So it gives you uh, two thirds. All right, it's not white. Okay, well, that, there's two white in there. So that means there's 10 of them in there that are not white. So, of course, reduce that. Two goes into 10 five times, and two goes into 12 six times. So, five, six. Okay, that's how probability works. And then for geometric probability, when you're talking about length, you guys, in a line segment. So, say you got this line segment right here. And uh, the probability that a point is picked at random uh, on CD is, okay, you just take, uh, that's your favorable outcome. So, so your favorable is the length of CD, and the total outcome is the length of the whole line segment AD. Okay, it's just favorable divided by total. All right, so the area probability, say I'm, I'm dealing with this circle right here, so uh, uh, it's going to be the area of, of the circle M divided by the area of circle J. And they don't have to be circles. They could be rectangles or squares. You know, I can put a, a rectangle in there, and then it would just be the area of that rectangle. Okay, so whatever it is you're, you're dealing with, the triangle is one half base times height. Remember all that stuff right there? So I think I just have circles, but same thing. So it's just favorable divided by total. So find the probability that a point is chosen at random. Here we go. Um, uh, that uh, you have on AE that it's it's on CD as well. So you have to find the length the length of A to E. So A is at negative three. And E is at positive 5, so the length is goes from negative 3 to 5, which is 8. And then CD goes from 0 to uh, 3, so the length of CD is, uh, is uh, 3. So the, the probability is going to be uh, the length of CD, which is 3, over the length of the total length uh, AE is 8. 3 eighths would be your answer. Okay? All right, so uh, on this one, it's, uh, it's in the smallest circle. Find the probability it's in the smallest circle. So it's going to be the smallest circle divided by the biggest circle. So remember, circles are pi r squared, you guys. Uh, um, so we have to find the radius of the small circle, which is 5, because the whole diameter is 10, you guys. And then so if it's 5 from here, right here where the 10 is, 5 and then plus 4 is 9, plus 4 more is 13. So the radius of the big guys is 13. Okay, pi r squared is area of a circle, so it's going to be pi times 5 squared over pi times 13 squared, and then those pi's cancel, you guys, and so 5 squared is, is 25, and 13 squared is 169.